By this stage, there is no longer any question. Artificial intelligence is transforming society, and those with the knowledge can. To use this technology or increasing crazily rich applications such as Lensa if you haven't been living under a rock, you've undoubtedly already heard about the magic avatars and AI-generated pictures that I and Don AI are practically flipping mobile apps like Instagram and YouTube in the iOS store, generating millions of dollars every single day. It's all over social media, so what's the deal with that? What are the risks and ethical ramifications of this trend, and are these applications even safe? Well, hey Lensa, you've come to the right place because we're about to answer these very questions after watching this video, you might reconsider using these apps ever again. So make sure to stick with us until the end some of these apps are literally stealing your face and making millions by feeding yo. To understand how AI-based picture generators actually function, let's first review the fundamentals. There are many applications for this technology, but what we frequently see are apps that use AI to create artwork and enhance photos. This process involves using machine learning algorithms that give the AI the ability to learn from a training data set and generate images based on it. Applications like Lensa AI have been available since 2018, but what sparked the adoption trend was their most recent feature, Magic Avatars, which was released in November. We won't bore you with the numbers, but to highlight how disruptive this feature is, the application was downloaded 1.6 million times in November, up 631% from 219,000 downloads in October. Needless to say, it was a huge success and seems to be adding more fuel to the tank all the time. The overly altered and Instagram-ready nature of those magic avatars is what draws users to the app, but this is where things start to get murky. The issue is that this dataset contains a variety of copyrighted artworks sampled by watermarks and those images are confirmed to originate from sites like Pinterest, Smugmug, Flickr, DeviantArt, and even ArtStation which raises a lot of concerns. Stable Diffusion was originally trained on 2.3 billion captioned images, a massive dataset taken from the visual section of the internet. Applications like Lensa or Don AI don't seem to care about it at all, which is even more bizarre considering that by using the app you're actually helping them to train the AI. Now Lens Up Pinky promises to you in their terms and conditions that they rely on AWS cloud services, so it's easy to see why many people are not very happy about it. There is a lot of debate in the art communities on this matter. And speaking of money, how are they getting those enormous profits now that you've successfully sold your face to an AI? Don't be surprised if you see it in a random picture on the internet years from now. Linza uses what some praise and others consider a dark pattern plan offer ending in the onboarding was a paywall that starts as a free trial with more than 25 million plus worldwide downloads, you can get an idea of how the app has managed to build such a high stream of income millions are hopping. Well, at the time of producing this video, Lensa AI had made $16.8 million in revenue in 2022 so far with $8 plus million happening in December alone. Lensa the biggest markets for AI are in the United States and Brazil, and it's slowly encroaching on Europe as well. But what exactly are they selling? Well, the short answer is that the computing cycle is needed to generate the art, so yes, as previously mentioned, it's not something you can't do yourself but it's an amazing way of leveraging AI technology to make a crap ton of money based on other people's misinformation. The issue is that the industry is highly unregulated and as well, there are a few potential risks that we believe you should take into account, so pay close attention because this is the most crucial section of the film. When you share selfies, you're giving AI access to a photo of your face that could be used to create AI images without your consent. This could result in the misuse of your personal information, such as the creation of fake accounts or unpleasant online impersonation, and it could get even worse if those impersonators decide to create fake or misleading accounts. Deep fakes are AI-generated pictures, sounds, and movies that are made to appear to be of genuine people. Deep fake technology creates synthetic material that is intended to appear like and sound like real people using neural networks and other machine learning techniques. As you can see, this feature alone raises questions regarding consent accuracy and potential harm to people. Deep fakes may be used to fabricate information or sway public opinion. Even worse, they may be used to produce films or photos that are intended to damage the reputation of a person or organization. Jumping on the trend is simply not worth it, especially since we're dealing with an unregulated industry in this case and this leads to another crucial point. Deep fake technology is a rapidly developing field with virtually unlimited applications that can be both positive and negative, it's hard to say how this could harm us in the future. Therefore, exposing yourself to this kind of technology is generally considered to be a bad idea, so hopping on the trend is simply not worth it. What you need to understand is that you should be cautious of revolutionary industries like AI because interacting with it could lead to a lot of unintended consequences in the future. 
The use of AI to generate images is still a developing field, and our understanding of the technology is very limited. As the algorithms continue to evolve, it's possible that new risks and concerns will emerge in the future. Keeping up with advancements in technology can be thrilling, and it's in your best interest to do so, but you should be aware that sometimes there are hidden threats lurking beneath social media trends. With good marketing and a sizable budget, you could even start one yourself by paying a few social media influencers and presto. Social media is by no means innocent, and entrepreneurs will take advantage of any chance to monetize a trend. Artificial intelligence is nothing to laugh at, but as the technology develops and more people use it, the risks will become increasingly clear. It's impossible to predict how this will affect us in the future, so it's better to be safe than sorry. Regulations will be essential to keeping artificial intelligence in check, but for now it looks like we're years away from having anything firmly in place. This is because it's challenging to govern a sector without impeding its growth. As a double-edged sword, AI can and will undoubtedly improve the lives of many people, but keep in mind that this is only our opinion and that you must determine how you will utilize it. Alexa, that's all for today. Have you ever used artificial intelligence? If so, please share your experiences in the comments section below. Also, please let us know what you believe to be the most significant drawback to using this technology. Do you think AI will eventually rule the world? We've all seen the Terminator movies, so why not consider this possibility for a moment? Thank you for watching, Alexa. If you liked the video, please give it a like and share it with others to raise awareness. If you're craving more, why not watch this video?